Well hello again. In this example you will learn how to compute the design roof live load for a column which is located in a building. We're going to take a look at this specific roof framing plan that is shown below. And in fact what we are wanting is we are wanting to compute the load that should be placed upon the column that's located at grid point A4. That would be this column right here. We are being asked to take reductions to those loads if appropriate and we are going to assume that the roof pitch rises a half of an inch for every foot of run on that particular roof. In order to do this fully we need to understand a term you'll hear me refer to column lines and when I'm referring to a column line it's these grid lines right here so that is column line 3, column line 4, A, B, and so forth. So the first step in computing the load is we need to compute what the tributary roof area is to column A4. And the way we're going to do that is we will draw a dividing line that is located halfway between the column lines. And the area that is defined by those lines becomes the tributary area to that particular column. Since these are halfway in between, we can dimension this. This is 22 and a half feet. And the dimension here will be 15 feet. All right, so we will go ahead and compute that, that that tributary area, 22.5 feet, multiplied by that 15 feet, gives us 337.5 feet squared. Next thing is we need to identify the roof live load equation. That is given to us, L sub r, as being 20 pounds per square foot multiplied by a reduction factor R1 and a reduction factor R2. And these are given to us as per ASCE 7. Given below are the reduction factors as they are to be computed. And the first thing to note is this reduction factor right here, or the range for which we take no reduction. It says if we are less than 200 square feet, we really don't take any reduction at all. But since we are 337.5 feet, we make the conclusion that this load is indeed reducible. So we know that we will be using this equation, which is a function of the tributary area, to compute r sub 1. In fact, let's go ahead and take care of that right now. r sub 1 then is 1.2 minus 0 0.001, 337.5 and and that will then compute out to be 0 0.8625. Okay, now we need to look at the next reduction factor, and that is based on this factor of F. To help you understand this, we look at the slope of a roof, and the slope is defined as a rise over a run. And so ASCE 7 says, for a run of one foot, the rise will be defined by this letter F. So in our particular example, we were told or we are assuming that we have a rise of a half of an inch over a run of one foot. So that means that the F that we will be using is 0 0.5, which puts us in this range and says that there is no reduction that we will take due to the slope of the roof. So that is 1.0. We then move on and we can compute L sub r, that is that 20 pounds per square foot, multiplied by 0 
1.25 and 1.0. This will compute out to be 17.25 pounds per square foot. Okay, that is that distributed uniform load over the roof. The last thing we need to do is to compute what the load is that's coming down on that column, in particular column A4, and we will do that by taking that distributed load, L sub R, and multiplying it by the tributary area. So we get 17.25 pounds per square foot multiplied by 337.5 feet squared. This will compute out to be 5,822 pounds or 5.8 kits. This concludes this example and remember it is always a beautiful day to study structures.